Hi guys, this is just a quick little tutorial on how I use the Curve tool in Medibank Paint Pro. I haven't seen any other videos done on it yet, so I figured I may as well throw my two cents into the ring. So this tool is best used to make clean line art. If you're anything like me, your sketches can get a little bit crazy sometimes, where you're warping and transforming certain parts to get a certain perspective to work, or you're just not great with a tablet quite yet. In any case, uh, the shape tool will help you make smoother and cleaner lines. So let's say this is our sketch right over here. We have some issues with it because it, it just would not be fun to color this. We've got some like jagged lines here. We've got like opened areas over here. The sword line art is ridiculously thick compared to the rest of the character because I warped it over here to make the perspective work. And overall, this would just not be fun to color. Enter the shape tool which I'm going to set this to a low opacity, erase some of these lines I drew. The shape tool can be accessed by hitting the square underneath the eraser icon. Then you navigate to this curve icon right next to the jagged line and the square. You're going to be setting points on the screen by tapping. So let's say we want to curve around the jawline of this character. We're just going to tap over here, tap here, tap here, tap here, here, and just continue until you're satisfied with the line. And then to end the line, you're going to double tap. This creates a line on the screen that is smooth and just generally looks much nicer than my sketch. See, if I try to do the same thing by hand, uh, I'm wearing a brace right now, so my wrist can be a little crazy. It would look kind of like this. And so I'd have to go back and clean up this line and go clean up this line. But oh no, look, now the jaw looks funny. And overall, this line just looks a little more jagged than the one created by the curve tool. If you are a fan of more uniform, cleaner line art, then um, the curve tool might be something you find useful. Thanks for watching.